Darrell Jazz Johnson, MSG Varsity, Fathers and Sons Magazine, RazzingJazzSports.com. We are here with Mr. Danny Green Sr., father of Danny Green from the uh, San Antonio Spurs. How are you doing today, Danny? I'm good and yourself. Good, thanks. So let's 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 go back to June. Your son picks the biggest stage in the NBA, NBA Finals, to have hit the best streak of his career, setting the three-point uh, record for the finals. What are you thinking when he's draining all of those threes? Uh, it was all surreal for us. You know, we were there live at every game. We went back and forth to Miami and San Antonio. And originally when he started out, you know, game one, he started out pretty good. And game two, and it seemed as the series went on, he got better and better. And he started to get hot and heat up. And when he was in his zone like that, you know, it's not the first time I've seen that in his career. So, you know, for everybody else, it might have been the first time. But for me, it wasn't. But I was pleasantly surprised, and I was happy for Danny. Let's go back to game six. Mm -hmm. They rolled out the champagne. The game is on ice just like the champagne. And then the miracle shot by Ray Allen. What, what were you thinking when that, when that happened? Uh, actually, they were starting to bring out the, the tapes and, and tape off the court, and they gave us the passes to go down to the floor. So we were excited at that moment, you know, ready to go down and celebrate. And then within 27 seconds, one possession away from winning the national you know, championship for the NBA. Uh, when he hit that shot, it was like, oh, no, here we go. <laughs> yeah. now, now, what do you say to your son to pick him up? And, you know, when he plays so well, when the team plays so well, and he's about as close to winning an NBA championship as you can get. Many people, including myself, think that he probably would have been named the NBA Finals MVP. What do you say to your son to pick him up after uh, such a such a emotional defeat? You know, there's really not too much you can say. You know, I mean, honestly, Danny was pretty even keel. We, he came into the hotel room that night, and uh, we were talking, and I asked him how he felt, and he says, hey, you know what, Dad, it's just another game. We've got to go out and win one more. So he approached it pretty well, and the only thing you can say is, hey, you know, big-time players make big shots, and, you know, if they could do it in game six, you can go out and, and get, you know, keep the hope alive and go out in game seven and also do, you know, do it as well. Now tell us what, what your other sons are up to. We know one is uh, playing high school ball right now in Long Island. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Yeah, that's Devonte. He's over at Lou High right now. They're number one Long Island. Uh, they have a big game coming up next week against the number one team in the city, Cardinal Hayes. Right now, he's the leading scorer on the number one team in Long Island. So I'm pretty happy with the way he's progressing right now, and he's starting to mature a little bit. You know, he's starting to come into his own. He's only a sophomore. He has two more years of high school, and he is chasing down the New York State scoring record, which is held by Lance Stevenson right now. Black History Month is upon us. Why do you think black history is still significant for not only people of color, but for people of all races and creeds? Well, you know, Black History Month is important, not just to African Americans, but understanding something that we have a major impact on society in general. And then when we have an impact, it's not just on one race of, of people. It's on everybody that's, that's in, that lives amongst the society. Now, you, you, you clearly are, are a role model um, with all of the work that you're doing to son, uh, with, your, with your sons. What are some tips about fatherhood that you would give to to some young fathers out there on, on, on how to raise their sons and keep them on the right track? I would say the first thing and foremost is, is to be actively involved. You know, be have a, a huge presence in your kid's life and try to be as positive as you can. You know, you're going to make your mistakes along the way. Don't be afraid to make your mistakes. But, you know, when you do, you kind of move forward and you learn from those mistakes and you teach your kids those same things. And you hope that, you know, your next generation is better than, you know, than where, where you're at. You always want to put them one step ahead of where you are. Thanks a lot. I appreciate the time. Thank you very much. See, see, see you next year. Absolutely. <laughs> yep.